Well, hello everyone. We'll be going over weapon damage today. And just to get it out of the way, we are talking about how much damage you do assuming a hit, ignoring armor, all other factors, including attack speed, area of effect, everything else. You're only concerned today with how much damage you do when you hit your opponent. The purpose for this is to create a baseline for further comparisons and quick calculations out in the field. The game already has a feature that displays the numbers we're looking for, and we're going to show you what those actually mean and how they're calculated. We'll start by proving that these numbers are reliable. I know it's difficult to see, but I hit this target for 49 plus 40. That's 49 cut damage plus 40 stun. If you hover over your stats in the bottom left hand corner, specifically dex, you'll see weapon cutting damage is 110.05, and hover over strength, your blunt weapon damage is 90. This is the true unmitigated damage that your weapon will deal on a successful hit. In this case, our target has no armor and a 55% damage resistance from toughness. Bringing those numbers together, we have 110 cut damage, reduced by 55% is 49.5, and 90 blunt damage reduced by 55% is 40.5. The decimals fall off due to rounding. The only other thing to mention before we continue is that different attacks can have different damage values. For instance, the single strike katana hits deal 100% damage, but the double strike deals 80% on the first hit and 60% on the second hit. If you are out of combat, instead of showing your true damage numbers, it will show you the minimum damage possible as if you had zero skills. For slashing weapons, that is 15 cut and zero blunt. For blunt weapons, that is 6 slash and 15 blunt. And we'll come back to that in a minute. So, let's just throw out the formulas on the screen, and then we'll talk about it. Now don't be alarmed, it's not that complicated. For starters, primary damage is simply whichever number is bigger on your weapon. If cut is at 2.6 and blunt is only down at 1, then it's a slashing weapon using dex as the primary skill and strength as the secondary. And again, we'll come back to that during the examples. Class is your character's skill with a specific weapon class. For instance, a Nodachi falls under the Katana class. Secondary damage is special in that its minimum damage is conditional. Cut can only be down to 6 damage, so even if you have a primary stun weapon, you will always deal some cut damage, while Blunt has a minimum of 0. And with that, we'll jump into our examples. Our first contestant has 110 cut damage and 90 stun, as we covered before. But this time we'll be taking a look at his weapon as well. The Falling Sun is a heavy weapon, and unusual for a heavy weapon, it is primary slash, with 2.64 cuts and only 2 blunt. So, we'll be using the weapon's cutting damage, our dex, and heavy weapon stat up above for the primary damage formula, resulting in exactly 110.04 cut. And down below, for the secondary formula, we have the weapon's blunt damage, our strength, and heavy weapon stat, resulting in 90 blunt, again, as expected. Here we have the same Falling Sun with lower stats, coming out to 78.36 cuts and 60 blunt. I'll take this opportunity to point out that damage growth is linear as stats increase. As you see here, a 50% stat growth increase from 40 to 60 increases your blunt damage by exactly 50%. And cut damage experiences the same growth, your added damage from stats grows by exactly 50%, but because of the 15 starting damage, it's actually an effective damage increase of about 40%. Now to example 3. We have another Falling Sun, this time with the same stats as the previous example, but a worse quality weapon. And this time I will show that damage is linear with your weapon quality as well. An 82% increase in your weapon blunt stat increases your blunt output by 82%. In the same way, increasing your weapon cut damage by 78% increases your stat's effect by 78%, resulting in an effective 55% growth, accounting for the 15 starting damage. Finally, we move on to another weapon, another one of my favorites, the Nodachi. Here we have 7836 cutting damage and zero blunt. We won't be going through these calculations because the cut damage is the same as the falling sun and blunt damage is simply zero because of the scalar. Instead, I'm showing it here to make a point. Anyone who's used the Nodachi knows that it strikes much faster than any heavy weapon. And compared to the falling sun, it has a unique double strike attack is one-fifth of the weight and does 20% increased bleed. Despite doing less damage in each individual hit, it is no less of a formidable weapon. There are various reasons to choose each and every weapon in Kenshi as your preferred implement of war. This is only the first of many videos on the subject. We have one more example, this time a primary blunt weapon. And you can see here the cut damage is at 6 and blunt is at 77. 
Weapon blunt damage, blunt weapon class, and the character strength take the primary this time, coming out to 77.4 blunt, which for some reason the game doesn't display decimals on stun damage. Having zero cut damage on the weapon means it gains no benefit from stats, leaving only the minimum value of 6. At this point, I'll just come right out and say what I've been skimming around this entire time. A closer look at this formula reveals that your primary stat and your class skill have equal weight in raw damage, exempting of course that your primary stat also affects things like attack rate. Meaning that if you want to be a saber-wielding demigod, you must train with sabers for an extended period of time, as well as raising your primary stats. But more importantly, if you have zero for both, it nullifies your weapon quality entirely, leaving only the base attack value. So a new warrior would do the same damage on a hit with a crappy katana as with a cross-quality falling sun, which is the highest single-hit damage weapon in the game. Which explains why I have this conversation with every new character I get. Do you know how to use that thing? Yes. The pointy end goes into the other man. This is going to take a lot of work. In conclusion, experienced fighters get the most out of better weapons, and weapon quality can be a detriment at low skill, since anything with a blunt component scales to higher weights at better quality, thus necessitating higher strength without providing anything in return, to the degree that it's better to equip your fresh recruits with iron sticks than sabers. The heavy weapon class in particular is decisively suicidal in early game. And again I must stress, this is only one of many variables in choosing your weapon. Expect to see a video soon on the effect of combat stats, and why even the smallest modifiers are critical to your success on the battlefield. That's it for today. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Terminarch out.